warm greetings everyone today we are going to see the explanation of the poetry night of the scorpion written by nizam ezekiel a brief introduction of the poet nizam ezekiel is an indian jewish poet and an art critic he won the padma shri and the sahitya academy award his poems like the night of the scorpion background and casually are the most defining poems of his career he is considered the father of modern indian english poetry now let us move into the text i remember the night my mother was stung by a scorpion 10 hours of steady rain had driven him to crawl beneath a sack of rice parting with his poison flash of diabolic tail in the dark room he risked the rain again this is an autobiographical poem we come to know about it by ezekiel's usage of the first person pronoun that is i it is a rainy night it had been raining continuously for 10 hours the scorpion hides in the poet's house beneath the sack of rice to escape from the rain it stings his mother after parting its poison the scorpion runs out in the rain from the next stanza it reflects the rural life of india i would like to read the text the person came like swarm of flies and bust the name of god a hundred times to paralyze the evil one peasants means farmers and we can see the usage of a collective noun swarm of flies which reflects that the farmers came in large number and they started singing the name of god 100 times so that the scorpion would be motionless the evil one refers to the scorpion with candles and with lanterns throwing giant scorpion shadow on the mud baked walls they searched for him he was not found they clicked their tongues with every movement the scorpion made his poison moved in the mother's blood they said may he sit still they said may the sins of the previous birth be burned away tonight they said may your sufferings decrease the misfortunes of your next birth they said may the sum of all evils balanced in this unreal world against the sum of good become diminished by your pain may the poison purify your flesh now we can see that the villagers are searching for the scorpion it is a belief that with every movement the scorpion made it affects the mother they do not want the scorpion to move they want it to be motionless and the people believe in rebirth the intensity of the pain the mother undergoes is high they wish the sin of her previous birth will diminish and her next birth will be better they wish the sum of all her evils are balanced and the poison would purify her body and flesh of desires and of the spirit of ambition they said and they sat around on the floor with my mother in the center the peace of understanding on each face more candles more lanterns more neighbors more insects and the endless rain my mother twisted through and through groaning on the mat my father skeptic rationalist trying every curse and blessing powder mixture herb and hybrid he even poured a little paraffin upon the bitter toe and put a match to it i watched the flame feeding on my mother i watched the holy man perform his rites to tame the poison with an incantation after 20 hours it lost its sting my mother only said thank god the scorpion bit on me and spared my children now let's go into the explanation it is a continuation of the previous paragraph the poets the villagers wish that the mother's body and flesh is free from desire and ambition we see more number of persons entering in they came in with more candles and more lanterns they sat on the floor with the mother in the center wishing that the mother could recover the mother was groaning in pain she twisted through and through lying 
on the mat. Ezekiel shares his father's effort to reduce the mother's pain. He tries curses and blessings and herbal mixture. As a last resort, he pours kerosene on the mother's stove and sets it on fire. Next, Ezekiel watches the holy man trying to control the poison by performing his rites. The mother suffers for 20 hours. Her response in the end strikes the theme of motherhood, a mother's unconditional love for her children. She thanks God that the scorpion had stung her and spared her children. Thank you everyone.